Okay, I'll do one more. Um, so, um, looking at this problem, I need to kind of determine which one's really going to be my most complicated side. Where am I going to want to start? Um, I always like to look at my um, Pythagorean identities and see what I could change. So this is going to equal cotangent. But, so if I'm now I'm going to be multiplying cotangent times cosine, I can simplify that, but that's not really going to give me anything that's going to look anything like that, right? So I'm probably going to want to start with my cotangent cubed of t divided by cosecant um, to see if that can really provide me any insight of what I want to do, all right? So usually the first thing I like to do, guys, is I like to get rid of, um, I like to get rid of my fraction, okay? Because I really don't like dealing with fractions. And obviously, the right side's not a fraction, right? So the first thing is, remember, how do we get rid of fractions? You guys remember, what do you need to multiply your denominator by? Mm -hmm. The reciprocal. What's the reciprocal of cosecant? Sine. Sine. So if I multiply sine of t on your top and bottom, that's going to not cancel out. Right? No, 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 no. You, or it, what you're really doing is you're multiplying it by, remember, sine of t is equal to 1 over cosecant of t. So remember, the reciprocal of cosecant would be 1 over cosecant, right? Which is the same thing as sine. Does that make sense? Okay. So I multiply by sine of things. So now I have sine of t times cotangent cubed of t. And now we need to make that look like that. Well, whew, I need to get rid of the sine and make it a cosine. And I need to get cotangent to equal cosecant. Now, I do know that cotangent squared is going to give me cosecant minus 1, right? Cotangent squared gives me cosecant minus 1, correct? So what about, remember, what is cotangent cubed equal? That equals cotangent squared. Yeah, you could rewrite that as sine of t times cotangent of t times cotangent squared of t. Right? Because guys, remember, x cubed equals x times x times x. Right? Or you could say x cubed equals x squared times x. Right? So I'm just following our properties of exponents. It's gonna get excited. Properties of exponents. All right, yeah. it's the same thing. Yeah. So, so here, cotangent. I can rewrite that as cosecant squared of t minus one. So I'll write sine of t times cotangent of t times cosecant squared of t minus one. Again, that's what cotangent squared of t equals, using my Pythagorean identity. So now I need to get rid of this sine. How do I get rid of the sine? Well, I don't really know. I'm going to try to maybe transform my cotangent and see if I can cancel them out, right? Because when you can't cancel them out, convert to sines and cosines. Cosine over sine, sine and sine and cosine. And cosine. So what I get is sine of t times cosine of t over sine of t times cosecant squared of t minus 1. The sines cancel out. Cosine of t times cosecant squared of t minus 1. It's a lot of steps, isn't it? But guys, it's just about practicing and trying things, all right? I don't expect you guys all, like, quickly, you know, jump this other your way. It's just about trying different things and kind of looking on the outside end to be able to see what you can solve it for, okay? So 